Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I saw something new today in work in progress. You might have noticed it in a previous vid of mine video. Um, so, I decided we should check it out. I actually saw a couple of things. I've been avoiding work in progress mainly, but I decided to try a couple of work in progress things. And this is one of them. It's the amazing world of bikinis, okay? And this is from <laughs> Morgan Helsing, and I thought we would do a little test, okay? Now, first off, you have to find the books for this mod to work, okay? So, the books, they tell you here where they are and where you have to go to get them, okay? Now, there's one book, number six, which says that book can fall under the forge and you need to do the glitch. If that book is not there and I cannot pick it up, I will not get that book. I'm not going to try to do whatever glitch or whatever. I, that's just not me. I'm not bothering. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, fix your mod. You know, <laughs> put, the, put things where they can be found where they're not going to fall through the game, okay? Or really take away these annoying requirements for... Um, for the books, okay? It, 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 you know, it's a choice, it's an option, but I'm just saying, I'm, you know, probably not going to go hunting down uh, things that are really extremely difficult to find, okay? So, now, some of these are going to be easy to find. I assume they're going to be near the forge, but some of these look kind of weird. Um, such as Dwimmer, says Dwimmer Museum. Well, that Dwimmer Museum is pretty big. I don't know where all it is. One thing I can do is I can go get a certain necklace that will help us be invisible. So maybe I will do that first. Um, and then there's some where it just says Redoran's Retreat. Um, you know, Knife Point Ridge. I, that doesn't tell me where the book is really going to be, so I don't know. Um, so, you know, we'll see how this goes. I, I don't typically like things like this uh, because of the aggravation of I have to go hunt down the books, I have to have the books, I have to keep the books, I have to do this for every character. Uh, you know, it becomes annoying, you know, because uh, you have to do it for every character that if you if it turns out that you like this mod and you want to keep it and use it then you have to go through this exercise with every character do you understand that's that's what I'm saying I don't like about these things you know if you want to make a cool armor or weapon mod or something that's the same thing I say for Fallout 4 then just make it put it in the crafting allow us to craft it That'll allow us to check it out, decide if we like it, and use it. It's okay if you make it, um, you know, level appropriate to craft. You know, if you say, well, it requires this, this, and this. If we want to cheat and get around that and create it at the beginning of the game, that's our business. Don't, don't worry about that. So anyway, so I'm going to have to go get those books. I'm assuming that nothing's going to show up without those books. So, wait, maybe not. Hold on. Here's something. Now, Jade does have the God Ring on, so some of this might be incorrect as far as the stats go. So, that was cool. We found one thing that appears to not require uh, a book, or maybe that's an accident. If that's an accident, the modder may want to fix that. That's really up to them. Morven cyborg body. What do I need? Four Dwimmer cogs? Hold on, let me get some Dwimmer cogs. We're going to make that. I'm going to make anything weird I find, okay? Um, Dwimmer cogs, you think that's miscellaneous? I think it's miscellaneous. Now, this is more of a testing, okay? This is not a spotlight. This is a testing. I'm just bringing you along with me. This is normally the type of thing I have to do anyway, so I figure, why can't you enjoy some of the stupidity <laughs> that I enjoy? <laughs> no, seriously, I just think, I, I think some people would actually be interested in seeing 
me test something, you know, for the first time. So, if I'm wrong, that's fine. You can tell me. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It's fine. Dwimmer Cog. Dwimmer Cog. Where are you? Do I remember my alphabet? That is the problem, isn't it? And maybe this will help the modder if I remember to go out to Bethesda and tell them anything, which... Uh, I admit, I'm very hit or miss. Uh, there's been a couple of times, but I, I can't always tell if they saw my comment. Sometimes I can tell. Okay, so, hmm. I'm just going to see what some of these are. Alright. So some of these are showing up in the menu, not all of them though. So that's okay, I mean, whatever does show up I will try to uh, put together for us. Oh, Farmer Weapon, that's cool. Um, but... I didn't really expect anything to be in here, so just the fact that anything is there is good. It's better than nothing. Now, some of these things you're seeing are items from other mods. I do not have those mods turned off because we're currently still in progress playing with Chrome and doing some things. I just thought Jade could benefit from a little adventuring and going and finding these books and, you know, seeing what, what we need to retrieve and do. And since I am doing that, and we can call this a playing video, um, we can do that. That's not a problem. I don't really enjoy uh, necessarily doing these kind of fetch quests and stuff to get stuff, just to craft something to see if we like it. But, sometimes you can make an adventure out of anything if you try, I suppose. But... Um, while it's not my favorite thing, I can't say that, oh, you know, I just hate it with such a passion. I don't, I just don't think it's in the best interest. Like, if I was just playing the game, if I wasn't doing the shows that I do, um, I probably would not use any of these mods. I might test it out, and then, but I probably wouldn't use it, because like I say, I would have to repeat the same silliness for every character, and mm, that uh, becomes annoying. You know, it's okay to do it with one or two characters, maybe, but after that, you're kind of like, I'm not doing that anymore, and you just you just end up deleting that mod and just not using it anymore, which is unfortunate, but true. That, that I can see that happening. So let's see. I didn't see anything there. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything that could be here. So far, everything looks pretty much the same. Yeah, okay. So I don't see anything else. So, so we found a couple of things. Let's try those. Wow, I am like really reckless driving. Pardon me. Sorry about that. So let's try a couple of those. Now, I am using lifelike idols if you see a difference. Um, that's why you see a difference. That says Bikini Guard Armor, and this says Bikini Guard Gloves. Now, I will tell you, that does not look like a bikini to me. And I'm not just saying that to be complaining. And it had no boots, so I'm taking her boots off. So I'm not sure what the point is here. That's, that could be something interesting, I suppose. But, um, as it is, it's kind of odd. I don't know what to think of that. Alright, so I'm going to take those off. You're going to have to look at uh, Jade with her underwear for a few minutes. Let's see. Summer now has gloves, a helmet, and shoes. So for the girl, that's what it looks like. It's pretty big. But you could wear it. So that's what it looks like. Alright. So just wanted you to see that. There's no point, and I might as well show you everything since we're here. 
All right, so we tried all that dwarven stuff that we had. Now let's try some iron. There's abs. Let's try a bikini bottom. Which you can't see much of it yet. Hold on a second. We'll we'll get a top going and that will help. And we'll do a top. There. Does that fix it? Okay, that fixes it. Okay. So here, this is... Now that's not everything, so hold on. That's a top. Let's do some boots. We'll come back to that. Let's do a circlet for the moment. And do some gauntlets, okay? I don't think I'm going to like any of these. Okay, maybe that. Because that's like a collar. That's not so bad. Alright, so... So this is like our first bikini armor. This is the iron. And this is what it looks like. So it's not bad. Um, depends on what you like. I mean, yeah, it's very, it's going to be extremely skimpy. This is all bikini, right? So, so don't be surprised at that. Let's see what the breastplate is. The breastplate is its own thing. Okay, so it's definitely a plate. And then the chest reinforcement. I'm not sure what the reinforcement is. Because I can't see it. But I'm still wearing that but it doesn't show it. How interesting. Okay, so this breastplate is a top, basically. But you could wear the second top instead. So the reinforcement is just there. I mean, it's something you can wear regardless. It doesn't appear to have any appearance value. So... just wanted you to realize that. So the abs, let's go through the abs. The abs, this is the second ab. Looks like that. It's just a little plate, really. Um, the second bottom, it's a little more bottom to it. You can mix and match all this stuff, so I'm just going to go through them, and then you can decide what you like. We're on the second top, so I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, the second boots, looks like there's a little less bootage to them. An open foot, really. Um, I'm not going to do that again. We've seen that. Uh, should I take that off? It doesn't affect anything. I'm just going to take it off. Let's do the horned circlet. Okay. That's cool. I know some people will love all this stuff. It gives you a lot of options. Um, gauntlets, too. These are a little more open, so, you know, just like your boots are a little more open, your gauntlets are a little more open. Okay. Was there anything else? Oh, yeah, there's these. Um, I'm not going to like a lot of these, so I'm going to skip some of them. <laughs> I guess you could wear that if that's the look you want. It's not something I want. Um, there's a different collar. Just to show you, I, and I'm probably not going to bother with those anymore because I just don't, I don't care anything for them. So pardon me for that, but I don't. I'm just going to go back to this and just leave her the collar. Well, I could leave her the other collar, I suppose. Do you think that's a better collar? Does that go with the iron better? Maybe it does. Uh, anyway, it's a choice. So what we didn't look like look at was pauldrons. So pauldrons, she can have pauldrons. It's very nice. This looks like a set of pauldrons, which is different. Yep, it is different. Hmm. So let's um, let's scroll back up here. There's a lot to look at. So, all right. So let's go through the different apps. All right. I'm just going to take one thing at a time, I think. So three, this is the third ab. Jade, cut that out. You're covering your belly up when we're trying to look at your belly button. All right, so that's okay. This is abs four. The metal six-pack, I suppose. Abs five. It's interesting. 
Abs 6 is round, which doesn't make much sense. I think Abs 5 was pretty good. Or is that 6? No, that was 6. This is 5. So 5 is pretty good. I'm just going to try to pick one out that I like, okay? I'm going to let you see all of them. So we're going to go back to the bottoms. This is the third bottom, which looks risky, but I think we're covered. I think we're covered. This is the fourth bottom again. Risky, but I think we're barely covered. Uh, the fifth bottom. Okay, I think we're covered there. That's not bad. The sixth bottom. Okay, that's not bad. The seventh bottom. And the eighth bottom. Now, it just depends on what you like. You just have to pick what you like. Um, I think I actually preferred... Why is this one... I don't know. Let's see. So that's the first one. It doesn't seem to go with the spine I have chosen. In a weird way, that one looks kind of like it goes with the spine I have, the, the, I mean the abs I have chosen, kinda. I know it's, it's a kinda thing, it's a kind of situation. We're gonna ride with that for the moment. So this bikini top, let's watch the third bikini top. All right, that's not bad. Fourth. All right. Fifth. And the sixth. And <laughs> the sixth would go with that one we saw where it looked like slats of metal. Okay, I'm not really into the slats. Um that's not bad. That kind of goes with what she's wearing. So let's ride that out for a minute. All right. So boot-wise, we're wearing. Let's see. Wearing those boots. There's these boots. Four. Hmm. I don't think so. That doesn't look right somehow. So it's going to be up to like five or one of the first two. Or the first one, really. I think I'll just go with the first one. It kind of matches all around. That's fine. All right. <clears throat> so the circlet was fine. The horned is good. What's the horned bee look like? Hmm. It all depends on the horn you like. Um... I'm going to stay with the A for now. No special reason. Uh, there is just the circlet. Okay, that circlet, as you can tell, has little, like, knobs. Let me show you. See that? It has, like, little knobs in the front, or it's, it projects out. See that? So... We'll leave that alone for the moment. Um, I really think I'd still prefer the horns in A for the most. I think I'm going to allow that one neck gorget thing to stay. I think it's okay. All right, so gauntlets. We're wearing the second gauntlets. What boots are we wearing? Shouldn't we just wear the same gauntlets that we wear boots? More than likely, wouldn't that match? Mm. Normally, I would say it would match, but actually, maybe not in this case. Um, that actually looks okay with those pauldrons, but I may change those pauldrons. Hmm. 
I don't think that's what I want. I don't think. It's not awful, though. That would go with that one circlet we looked at with the projections. Hmm. I kind of like the second one because it leaves her hands free and it gives her some protection. I'm going to ride with that for a moment. We may have to come back to that. So, the gorget. I guess I'm going to stay with the throat protection she has. Now, this is different in that it's not a circlet. It's just horns on her head. Oh, actually, I think there's something by her face, too. Let's check it out. All right, I'm going to have to go. We'll come back to this later.